Hi, my name is Marty Frescona, one of the many attorneys at Frescona Entertainment Law. Today, I want to talk about five key concepts to help independent bands expand their career in international territories. Now, about 70% of my clients are artists, labels, or publishers located outside of the United States. The remaining 30% are artists that are looking to expand their careers into overseas territories. Now, one of the frustrating things about my profession is when I see this done the wrong way. Uh, trying to expand is like, it's a financial black hole. And it, it's a financial black hole that is very difficult for a lot of bands to get out of. So the approach needed to be correct on the front end. And these five basic concepts will help you. Now, the first thing you really need to know before we dive into this is why expand your career into international territories? And I wanna give you two reasons why. If you look at the billboard charts, 10, 15 years ago, about two to 3% of the artists were actually artists located outside of the United States coming into the US to expand their career. If you look at it now, at times there can be upwards of 40% of the artists on the billboard charts were born outside of the United States. Now that means we are in a much more accepting global economy for music, that everyone can have success. You don't necessarily have to look at your local market. You can look at the world as your potential market now. Now one of the other reasons is everyone assumes that the U.S. is where they need to expand their career, and that's not necessarily the case. Matter of fact, only about 2% of the world's entertainment consumers come from the United States. That means 98% of the buying market out there is not located within the U.S. So it is very challenging for artists for, uh, to be looking to expand their careers globally, and there is some rhyme and reason and strategy into doing that. Now what we're about to cover are the bare bone basics. Let's just assume for the fact these are independent artists that do not have the luxury of a label backing uh, or, or uh, high powered booking agents that are finding them gigs in international territories. So let's just look at some of the basics that independent artists would need in order to expand their career. Now at a minimal level, a minimal level, you need to begin thinking like a business, and that becomes getting highly organized. Now let me explain what that means. At some point in your international expansion, you will, become, you will come across organizations, and we'll later talk about this, they're gonna wanna know specific information. Now, not specific information is typically the information that bands give, unfortunately. So let's say you played a gig at a certain venue and someone asks, hey, how many people were there? The typical answer is a lot. There was a lot of people there. Hey, we, we packed it out, great job promoting. We need specifics. When you start looking at international venues, they wanna know specifically and backing up with information how many people were there. That can easily be acquired. That's just something you need to know on the front end. Become organized, become highly organized, start thinking like a business. Number two on that list, you need to begin rejecting all methods of promotion that you would typically adopt in your home territory. For instance, if you've got a show and the typical method of promoting that show is maybe hanging concert posters around the city, you may come across an international territory where that is flat out illegal and you can't do that. Each country has its own ways to promote and market. You need to reject what you have adopted as the global standard and understand that model needs to be shifted from country to country. Number three on that list is get a local contact. Now, that is something that is much easier than people understand, especially in the days of social media. You can reach out to management firms, booking agents, or, or uh, independent labels in other territories. That's something that's very obtainable, but it's important to acquire a local contact. Now, one reason that's important is, is simply for the methods of promotion and marketing. They can help you navigate the red tape of that particular country and what methods are standard as opposed to you thinking that it will be effective. Now, number four on the list is to bankroll the tour on someone else's dime. Now that may come across as strange, but it's very true and it ties into the very first point that we were talking about, that you need to start thinking like a business and become highly organized. Now when you're expanding into international territories, it's very difficult to afford that as an independent band, so you need to start finding the right partnerships and alignment. 
I can 100% assure you there is a company or a brand out there that is looking to expand into certain territories and they are more than willing to use musical acts to do that. These companies have marketing dollars and it's usually very expensive to expand overseas. Now using your band as essentially the brand ambassador is something they are willing to do and there's a monetary value to that. So first off, I encourage you to start looking at the countries you want to expand into uh, and then start looking at what organizations would make sense in terms of creative alignment for your band. Now the last thing on the list, number five, is get legal. Let me explain what that means and it's not a self-promotion. You need an attorney when you start to expand overseas. There's too many legal implications. For starters, depending on where you're going and how long you're gonna be gone, that's gonna dictate what visas are needed, what paperwork needs to be filed. Additionally, you come across tax issues. An attorney will be able to help you partner with the appropriate accountant or the appropriate business manager. An attorney will be able to help you maneuver of the appropriate ways to get product to certain countries. For instance, if you're going to expand into Germany, uh, you have a hit song in Germany and you're going over there to sell product, is it cost effective for you to ship CDs to Germany? Probably not. There's other ways to go about that. Music attorneys will be able to help you in that regard. They will also be able to help you find local contacts and the appropriate partnerships with businesses or endorsement deals. Now, I dive in a little bit more detail in a book series that I wrote geared towards independent musicians. It's how to market and promote music in Italy and how to market and promote music in Sweden. You can find that at my blog, musicglobalization.com in the publication section. Or if you wanna to go to the 2.0 version and do a little bit of legal reading, I wrote uh, one of the chapters in the recent re recently released American Bar Association books entertainment law for the general practitioner. Could care less if you buy it. I don't see any royalties whatsoever. If you have additional questions, please feel free to send me an email at mff at frescona.law.com. For daily news and tips, you can follow me on Twitter at Frescona Music or continue to log into the blog at musicglobalization.com.